hey people welcome to my channel and in today's video i am going to show you how you can create a website like amazon and ebay or aliexpress so in your website all the other peoples can make their accounts and sell their products as a vendor so this is called a multi-vendor website which is amazon and this is my website currently uh, this is a single website or a normal e-commerce website or shop where i am selling my products only but if i want i can allow other people to sell their products in my website just like amazon so for doing this i just have to log into my wordpress backend and after watching this video of course you will learn how to create a store like amazon so let's remember me and let's log into this okay so as you can see this is my website already created with uh, wordpress and i have ocommerce plugin installed in my website and ocommerce is the most uh, famous and the best plugin i have ever used for building an online store with wordpress but ocommerce doesn't provide us the functionality for creating a multi-vendor e-commerce website so i have to just do it by by using a plugin which is absolutely free of course you can use their premium version and let's go to the plugin and add new okay so i can upload the plugin but i am not uploading i just can search like dokan and the plugin will be visible here okay so as you can see this is a very popular plugin last updated four days ago these guys guys are doing amazing job so let's install it and it will allow me to make my website a multi-vendor or turn my website from a single uh, online shop to a multi-vendor online shop so it is installed let's activate it It is activating the plugin and in Amazon as you can see I can create a website I can uh, access to my accounts I can manage the orders browsing history and everything and we can also do it for our website too so the Dukan plugin is installed and activated just I have to just uh, set up this plugin for my website now so let's go and this is the settings for my website i will just make all the settings one by one uh, vendor story urls means uh, when someone creates a shop in our store make their store on your website uh, the store url will be after the uh, developer by dot xyz slash store slash their shop like uh, their shop so let's clear this one and as you can see this is saying the same thing and here is the shipping fee recipient means who will who will going to pay the shipping fee so of course vendor will sell in my website and the vendors will sell uh, pay the shipping fees and text fee the same they will pay and this is nothing just uh, google maps api let's ignore this one and let's continue okay so this is the second option saying selling setup and new vendor enable selling so let's turn this on so new vendors or new users can uh, start selling on my website so this is the main option and here as you can see this is the commission like if someone trying to sell something on my website of course they have to pay me for using my website on my platform so I can uh, take something from them like percentage and if they sell a product of hundred dollars i will be pay, giving i will be receiving ten dollars as a commission or percentage so this is amazing and order status change mean uh, they can uh, access to the order status so let's let's turn this on for them and let's continue to the next page 
okay this is the withdrawal setting for the vendors who are going to sell in your website so for my country paypal is not available yet i can just turn on the bank bank transfer and when someone is going to make a withdrawal request they can get their funds on they can get the dollars in their bank account so as an admin i can send them the their i can send them their uh, revenues or funds so maximal uh, minimum withdrawal limit is 50 let's say i will allow them them for the withdrawal request after 500 dollars so order status for withdraw order status for which vendor can make a withdraw request so this means that after the order is completed they can make a withdraw re request or if i choose this they can also make the withdraw request when the order is processing so i want to be my customers safe on this website so after they get the product i will pay to the vendors so let's continue okay so these are the recommended for dukan marketplaces or this plugin let's disable these ones i don't need them right now let's continue these are some add-ons or plugin as you can see and as you can see successfully marketplace is ready and let's say visit dukan dashboard so we have got to do some more settings here not uh, a lot of settings but as you can see like ocommerce we have the dukan plugin installed here so here we can manage the withdrawals manage the vendors uh, modules and everything so these are the stairs right now okay let's go to the settings of the dukan and here i have to do some of the settings let's close this one and here uh diesel vendors and customers from licensing yes just turn this on so they cannot log into your wordpress backend they will be managing everything from the uh, front end from your website let's visit my website you will see that after i have just uh, Uh, created the dokan plugin or install the dokan plugin here will be some pages visible right now but i have to add these pages here uh, by my menu so i will be doing this don't worry and this is the url again and we can set up a logo and let's set changes and now go to the selling options this is the again percentage and okay everything's fine here withdrawal options completed page settings okay so here is the most important one where the vendors will select their settings and edit the settings for your for their account so uh, they can select the setting from their dashboard and here they can track my orders their orders for their products and terms and condition page we can select a uh, terms and condition page i don't have the page created yet so let's choose this one sample page i will edit them later I'll edit that page later by the name of terms and conditions so let's save changes let's go to the appearance and uh, let's take a look okay so this is the uh, template for their end or their shop like in my website if someone want to sell anything and uh, they want to log into their account their theme will be displayed like this so this is the act active one right now i just want to keep with this and let's enable the store sidebar from the theme show vendor info and let's save changes okay so now if i reload this one and 
try to look for the pages there are no new pages so i have to just add the pages from the um, appearances and menus okay so this is the main menu right now and just select the new pages this is the home i don't want this home to be displayed here just store my account about let's go to the account page and see what happens okay so let's choose the new pages here and let's, let's bring them on here about conduct us is okay let's go to checkout card and my account dashboard store list my orders add to menu okay these are the pages edited now but i don't want my menu to be look bigger so i can select the sub pages pages as a child page or a sub menu so after the dashboard after the contact us there, there will be dashboard and these all will be under after the dashboard so let's drag and drop there for them and let's save menu okay so if i reload this again now as you can see if i go to the dashboard here are my orders store list my account checkout and cart let's go to the my account page let's close the amazon okay so after going to the my account page as you can see this is the dashboard orders downloads addresses account details logout so this is for the buyers actually this is not for the vendors if i go to the vendor dashboard as you can see i just selected the theme for them and this will be looking like this so uh, this is saying error your account not for in in a vault for selling please contact the admin so we are the admin currently right now so i can't uh, sell here as a vendor so i will try this website and i will try to create a vendor uh, account on my website by a different browser so this is the browser i am just using right now let's go to the shop here okay i i have opened this shop in a new browser not as an admin so let's go to the dashboard and say my account and here as you can see this this is where i can log in but how i can log in if i not even registered for this website so i have to register and i can say like i am a customer if i wanna buy anything from this website i can uh, log in as a customer but i am i am creating this account as a vendor so as you can see after selecting the vendor there are many more uh, options showing here the, that i have to submit here so let's say like this is my email address this is my name password let's do the password okay i have selected a password here i have to give the shop name which will be under the slash store slash uh, new shop and shop url will be set like the shop name so here i can give my phone number i have kept my phone number here and let's register let's save it and let's go here if this is the um, settings for me as a uh, vendor not as an admin so let's go and do the settings so here i can say like store products per page like in my store how many products i want to display i just want to go with seven and here i can choose my street name 
uh, street uh, and everything else so the admin can show my can see my details uh, which person i am and where i am from so they just uh, i am just letting them know about me this is my country selected don't need to uh, tell the state and i can select that if my email is will be visible in the website so let's continue update this okay here for receiving the payments i can give my bank transfer details to my uh, admin so uh, here i can choose a name like h white uh, let's give a blank number name of bank bank address routing number 222 ibn 222 switch code so this is the switch code and let's continue so the in informations will be go to the admin and go to your store dashboard and now here i can say uh, visit my dashboard as a vendor so i am not a admin in this website as you can see and this is my sales this week this is my earnings page view order everything is zero zero processing zero cancelled so how i can edit uh, add a product here let's go to the product and here i can add a product new product let's open this and here i can manage my orders and withdrawals here i can request for withdrawals as you can, as you can see previously i have selected the 5000 uh, taka or dollars as the, as the admin and uh, when any vendors will make their income up to 500 5000 dollars they can make a withdrawal request for a withdrawal so here they can say uh, see the last payment and this is the bank account where what they can add and here they can log out this is the e store they can visit and this is the setting of course from this setting they can change everything uh, they can upload a banner here for their website they can upload a profile picture and e store name products and everything i just did in the, a few moments ago so let's close this one and here I can add a product so for adding a product I can say like uh, this is a product Liverpool is a product so this is for uh, educational purpose don't take seriously so product name like Liverpool logo price is 50 taka discounted price is 40 and uh, this is a short description so here i can select a category the category i can select uh, uh, the admin category will be display here uh, as the admin creates a new category or something like this and text are the for the same i can even give, give a text for myself like liver pole okay so as you can see this is saying like no matches found so that means i have to create a tag in the website as a admin so here i can give the description main description here okay and create product so let's select a category here and create product okay so as you can see this is the product which is pending review right now because i am not uh, the i am a vendor in this website right now and i have to the admin have to uh, approve approve this product for finally displaying this product so as you can see uh, i just go to the admin dashboard here let's go again and go to the backend and go to the dokan here i 
I will just approve the product for the vendor. Okay, so let's go to the users. Let's view this one. This is the excuse me for okay so i have to just go to the dukan and the vendors so as you can see i have just approved the vendor of myself this is a vendor of mine and this is the vendor of the new shop uh, which i have just created as a vendor and let's edit Okay, this is the user edition for the new shop and let's go to the products here I can approve his product so this is pending uh, renewal fresh preview okay so this is this was pending and I can publish this product from here this is this was save as pending and I can publish this okay so I have successfully published this product and now if I go to the vendor vendor page and refresh this the product will be published okay as you can see successfully the product is online and if I go to the Kellyholic website again And let's go to the uh, products all products this is the product which which I just added it this was a demo product for educational purpose and here people can add to the cart and of course set their rating for this product so as you can see uh, after a product go got sold the amounts will be edited here in my in my admin panel and when the vendors will request for the payment i can pay them in their bank account so this was a simple but pretty complicated from me and this was the simple steps to how how you can make your online store to a multi-vendor e-commerce store so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching till now if you are still watching please like this video and share this video as many people as you can i will try to